Max, congratulations on your new book. Thank you. It's really exciting for me to be sitting right here where I wrote much of the book and actually finally have a paper copy in my hand and feeling that it's real. So how would you summarize this book? This book is about AI and what we can do today to uh, create the best possible future with it. I know you have a very unique perspective on this topic. How would you describe it? There's been so much talk about AI destroying jobs and enabling new weapons, ignoring what I think is the elephant in the room. What will happen once machines outsmart us at all tasks? Instead of shying away from this question, like most scientists, I decided to squarely focus on it in this book, because I want to enable my readers to uh, join what I consider the most important conversation of our time and make sure that this incredibly powerful technology gets used to create an awesome future, not just for tech geeks like myself, but for everybody. So you've talked about the contents of the book now, but what about the style? I do AI research at MIT, but I'm also a physicist, which enables me to uh, talk about things like intelligence, computation, and learning from a more fundamental perspective. I've also tried very hard to avoid technical jargon in the book to make it accessible to everybody, just like my last book, because I feel that this is a conversation that everybody needs to join because it affects everybody. Why do you think AI is so important for our future? We've traditionally thought of intelligence as something limited to biological organisms, like humans. But uh, from my perspective as a physicist, intelligence is simply a kind of information processing performed by elementary particles moving around according to the laws of physics. And there's nothing in the laws of physics that say that you can't create machines that are more intelligent than us in all ways. So I think we've only seen the tip of the intelligence iceberg and that we have the potential to unlock this amazing potential of intelligence that's inherent in our universe and use it to help humanity flourish like never before or, or to screw up like never before. So you gave a, a short summary of your book, but could you give me more examples of questions that the book tackles? First, there's near-term stuff like career advice we should give to kids and whether we should start an arms race in uh, lethal autonomous weapons. But then there's big stuff like sh can we and should we create superhuman artificial general intelligence that we call AGI in our lifetime and if so can and should this be controlled and by whom? Can humans survive in the age of AGI and if so how do we find meaning and purpose in our lives if machines provide everything we need and render what we do superfluous? Can and should AGI be conscious? Can and should we use it to help life spread out into the cosmos? And most importantly of all, what kind of future with AI do we want to steer towards? Because if we don't know what we want, we're much less likely to get it. Isn't it amazing that just three years ago we founded the Future of Life Institute right here at our house? It is pretty amazing how much has happened since then. You remember how our number one goal was to transform the conversation about the societal impact of AI from being polarized and dysfunctional to being mainstream and collaborative. And I'm really delighted about the extent to which we've helped with this. But uh, we have to remember, as I explained in the book, that there are huge unanswered questions that we still must answer if we're going to create a good future with AI. Like, for example, how do we transform today's buggy and hackable computer systems into robust AI systems that we can really trust. Uh, media like to freak out about scenarios where we get wiped out by AI. Uh, how worried are you? I think AI is going to be either the best thing ever to happen to humanity or the worst. Now, although I do explore a bunch of different scenarios in the book that you might love or loathe, I think the interesting challenge isn't to quibble about whether you should worry or not, or which scenario is most likely, but rather to ask what kind of future do we want to create and what concrete steps can we take today that are going to maximize our chances of the future being good. But let me push you a little bit on this point. Are you optimistic or are you pessimistic 
about our ability to ensure that the use of AI will remain beneficial. I'm optimistic that we can create an awesome future with intelligence, but it's not going to happen automatically. We have to plan and work for it. Everything I love about civilization is the product of intelligence, so obviously if we can amplify our intelligence with artificial intelligence, we have the potential to do great things. But first, we have to answer these really tough questions, like how can we make intelligent machines understand our goals and adopt our goals and retain our goals and whose goals should they be anyway? This conversation obviously can't be left to artificial intelligence researchers alone.